Hello, this is my first video showing the latest build on my current project, which is a group project at university created with John Dunlop and Paul Rosson. It's a 2D RTS game, and as you can see, we're still very much in the pre alpha alpha stage of development at the moment. The entire engine has been built from the ground up using DirectX and C, and all graphics at the moment uh, are, just, are just placeholders. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you around uh, some of what this engine can do at the moment. As you can see, you can pan around as you'd expect by moving the mouse to the left and right and sides of the screen. Uh, you can also pan around with the minimap, which works quite nicely. Uh, selecting objects uh, gives you uh, options. Uh, at the moment, you've just got Again, just place other graphics to the button, but that will, that will uh, give you some idea of what it is you can do with those buttons. So this is our our, our main worker unit at the moment, and uh, you can place down that's that's a barracks or various other other buildings. And from these buildings, uh, you can set a placement point, and you can spawn units. At the moment, it's just uh, spawning the units at the flag, but that will just be an assembly point location, and they'll they'll build and move to that location. Uh, as you've also seen, you can move units around. Uh, we've not got a collision system uh, in place in this current build, as you can see. So, uh, which leads to some slightly uh, dodgy looking things there, as you can see. Um, so you've got that uh, selection. You can drag, uh, drag, mod, drag uh, selection boxes around units, and you can deselect with it. Uh, click to deselect. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, buttons in the bottom right have disappeared uh, because you've got two different types of units selected. If it was just um, the one type, uh, the specific options for that unit would reappear. There you go. So I can create start creating things again and that makes sense because you don't want like a building creating a building so that's that uh, that's pretty much it uh, one last thing we've got uh, just to point out um, point out here this is, this is a fog of war effect here which is why these tiles are lighter than some of the other ones if I place one uh, up here close to the water you'll see that a little clearer um, so it turns the water a different colour uh, a lighter colour uh, to, uh, or I, sh I, sh I should say the actual colour, the darker colour is because uh, it's not in the field of view. Uh, it doesn't actually work for the players at the moment, but we're hoping to get that in soon. So, as you can see, like, the players should have a fog of, war, war, fog of war field following them around as well. Uh, and that's pretty much at the moment.